In this video, I'm going to share the top five secrets on how to save money at Legoland Windsor in the UK. Legoland has been said to be one of the most expensive theme parks for a family to visit in the UK. So by using the following tips, it won't hit your wallet as hard. So we can bring you more tips in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Let's get to saving. Number one. Don't buy your tickets on the day and at the gate. Going to Legoland is usually not an impulse decision. You don't wake up in the morning and just on a whim feel like, hey, let's go to Legoland. Here are some screenshots I took of the Legoland Windsor booking site. The first one was done on the 17th of August, looking at the next day, the 18th of August. Even at 10.25 in the evening, it's showing the next day, normally the prices are £60 per person, whereas if you buy them online, they're £39 per person. The next screenshot has taken two hours in the wee hours of the 18th at almost one in the morning. Here you can see that the price is actually now the full price of £60 per person. This is because now you're actually trying to book on the day. Here's another example where I'm looking on the 28th of July at the next day on the 29th. You can see the online price is £31 per person if you do it the day before. Then actually looking on the 29th of July to book on the 29th of July, it is the full price of £52. If you also click through the various dates, you'll see that going during the weekday or outside of peak holiday times, the prices are much cheaper. So don't ever book online on the day or rock up at the gate and buy tickets. This is the most expensive way to buy your tickets and you're probably going to pay up to 50% more than had you just done it the day before. Number 2 Look for discounts and vouchers. Legoland is always running promotion. Commonly you'll find them in cereal boxes or newspapers. The common promotions that you'll see is either two for one pricing or kids go free. Jump online to Google and just do a quick search to see what comes up. Martin Lewis's Money Saving Expert also has a page which is dedicated to Legoland and different deals you can find and save on. The address is on screen but is moneysavingexpert.com forward slash deals forward slash Legoland hyphen Windsor. The other one is to jump onto Twitter and do a search for Legoland Windsor Save. Click on the latest tab and here's where you can see what's going on at the moment. Here you can see a 40% off promotion. Number 3 Don't buy Lego at Legoland. We all loathe exiting through the gift shop. Such is the power of Lego's brand, they don't make you exit through the gift shop. They're one of the few attractions I know of which does this. All their prices are full retail price. You also won't discover until the register that any Lego VIP cards actually are not valid at Legoland. As crazy as that sounds. This is due to the fact that Legoland Windsor was one of the first Lego theme parks. Lego as a company was struggling at one stage, so one of the things that they did was actually sold off all their non-core business assets, which included Legoland. It was purchased by the Merlin Group, and we'll come back to this later in the video. We'll get our kids to choose the Lego that they're interested in within a certain budget in one of the stores at Legoland. We'll quickly jump onto Amazon and order it. Most families have got Amazon Prime with free delivery, so you'll get it the next day or so. This is generally 20% cheaper, so you can either get 20% more Lego or 20% less cost. And the kids can still end up with a souvenir from Legoland. Number 4 Buy a Merlin Annual Pass we mentioned earlier in the video that Merlin owns Legoland. The Merlin Group also owns other attractions such as Alton Towers, Blackpool Tower, Thorpe Park, Sea Life, Chessington World of Adventures, Madame Tussauds, London Eye and others. The annual pass isn't much more than an actual day ticket to Legoland. On top of this you also get discounts on food outlets in the park, free parking and significant discounts for staying at the Legoland Resort Hotel. We were staying in the Legoland Resort Hotel when we found out about the Merlin Pass. We were able to purchase the Merlin Pass and get a discount on the hotel we were currently staying in. This discount was almost the equivalent of the Merlin Pass itself. So effectively we get free access for a year to Legoland and all the other attractions. Having the annual pass means you can take friends and family along for very cheap rates as well. So maybe you know someone who has a Merlin pass and they could take you along on the day and you can get the cheap rates to get in. Their promotion at time of recording this video is friends and family can go for £15 each, which is about a quarter of the price you'd pay if you rock up to the gates on the day. Number 5 Bring your own food it will come as no surprise that food within the park can be quite expensive. There are lots of areas around the park where you can sit down and have your picnic lunch. Legoland also has pass outs. What this means is at lunchtime you can go out to your car, get your lunch and come back into the park. Thus you don't have to be a pack horse carrying your lunch around all day and you can just grab it when you need to. 
if you do need to eat in the park, there's a good all-you-can-eat-and-drink pizza and pasta place near Heart Lake City. As a bonus tip, we'll quickly mention the QBot ride reservation system. Check the link on screen or down below for another full video covering QBot in its entirety and some of the quirks of the system. If you value your time, it's a way of being able to queue jump your way through the park. As you're not wasting your time standing in line, you can get through more rides and attractions. So even though it might cost more, you might be able to get through the equivalent of two or three days worth of rides and attractions in one day. With these secret hints and tips on how to save money, you should be able to save a lot of money and have a great time at Legoland. Are there any great ways to save money that you've come across? Sound off in the comments below. If you want to feel great and help out two young filmmakers, please subscribe. Be sure to check out our other LEGO and Legoland videos and a selection should be on the screen at the moment. Until next time when we talk about all things LEGO.